All right, YouTube, welcome to Everyday Journey. Uh, right now, I'm trying to make the uh, the base and the top for my windmill here. Um, as you can see, I've got made a little attachment here. Uh, found some screws that would fit into the uh, into the base of the router, and uh, took me a piece of well, a small thin strip of wood, and uh, ran it below there, and went and, and screwed it to the base, and then went through and and drilled. A hole at the other end for the diameter or actually the radius of this circle that I need and uh, drilled through that and left the drill bit in there because it was the most precise hole um, and then basically used that for my template or just something to hold the router at a, at a good radius. Let's just see where I'm at here. Um, I got the pieces cut out. Got two of these. And as you can see, just making this, I think this came off of an entertainment center or something like that. So, uh, but it's MDF, it's pretty good stuff, or at least solid, and, and it's not, it's pretty flat. Um, as opposed to plywood, kind of a little bit wavy and warpy or whatever. So, um, it's trying to go for the most stable as I could um, with what I had. So got the pieces cut out um, and where I've got this piece here I'm actually using a bearing. Um, here's the bearing here. This came, this is like a hub bearing or something for a, uh, I don't know, I went to the auto parts store and I searched through the, uh, had them show me different bearings and stuff so I could see what I thought would be useful. Um, and how I've actually attached this, I took the 
same general concept um, put the drill bit through uh, and then use the inner circle of the plate for the the router and actually had it resting on that inner circle the, the well had the drill bit resting on that inner circle and uh, and just moved it around and it gave me roughly the size that I needed um, for this and, and I just probably put this in maybe an eighth of an inch maybe yeah about an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch um, the thickness into the wood um, but it made my hole too big so then what I did is took some of that aluminum that I had little scraps cut out strips and actually kept putting it in all the way around here until I got I guess I got about four pieces in there just the shims and uh, it's holding which is fine but then I ran into the issue of this top surface of the bearing actually protrudes a little further than this top piece of the bearing um, and so it was rubbing on the wood and uh, so obviously it wasn't going to turn very well so I needed to raise this outer part up took a piece of plastic this ring still comes off so I just traced the inside and outside part of this and then you can see right here this brown piece of plastic that's in here I just took some scissors and cut it out and the plastic itself was thick enough that uh, it now raises this part up to where this part is no longer riding on the wood down here so now I got a nice nice spin for it so this is my base and this is kind of like a lazy Susan what I was trying to go with with this is uh, trying to make it to where I can actually have a shaft <clears throat> that protrudes all the way through here goes down and so the hopefully the whole thing will just be resting on this one bearing I'm um, trying to go with as li little friction as I can um, and I don't know how well this is going to work because then we got the issue of it being not very stable because um, if the wind blows at the top it's going to be top heavy, it's going to tip it. Um, so I really need a shaft that's going to protrude down through, need another at least one bearing down low so that whenever it does it will push against that bearing and hopefully keep it from tipping. Um, which I haven't made it that far yet. Uh, still working with the overall design of what I want to do, uh, what I want to use as a shaft. And uh, right now I've got this, this thing right here. The problem with it is it's uh, it's about the same length overall as my uh, as my fan or my fins for this thing. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to actually have this go down through. And only connect it at the center and let me show you basically only connect it at the get this in frame there we go so only connect to the bottom and the center support um, and leaving the top free which is fine because I think these are these are fairly sturdy I mean the way they are I mean you can see they're pretty rigid so I think it'll hold up well and even if it does flex a little bit holy cow <laughs> that reflection really killed it huh but uh, even if it does flex a little bit that's okay um, again this is just test I'm just trying to get something that works now here's the thing I've already tested it put this thing up here on the uh, you know put all these up here on this and uh, put the top plate on top so everything was just held in place by gravity itself took a fan blow it on it and it sure enough it was turning it so uh, so I know the the general idea of it works bad thing is is that these uh, oh, these circles <clears throat> I found out these are not wide enough um, to really allow air to flow into the blades so, and I, I kind of expected that. That's, uh, that's one of the things I was shooting for. Um, that these would be small enough that I'd still, well, small enough to use inside it, but large enough that I could make several different attachments, or attachment points, or, or 
adjustment points to be able to find out where the happiest medium is for when I have the correct diameter of the entire contraption um, without adding too much weight, um, without adding too much, uh, well basically the weight is the biggest thing because uh, you don't want this thing to weigh any more than it has to. Um, I could have made these even bigger, but again, we're just adding to the weight, so that's not really helping anything. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is actually taking these, and I don't have a piece of wood here, but we we'll use this, um, and just basically, I'm going with 60 degrees, a triangle with three sides of 60 degrees, um, and basically having this to where every third of this entire portion here is where I'm going to have something, an arm basically sticking off and attaching to one of my blades. So then I have to deal with which is the proper diameter to give me the best overall flow and rotation and everything else for this. But then after that I got to deal with the proper setting angle for the blades themselves because if it's sitting like this, it's obviously not going to work properly. And if it's sitting all the way out like this, properly, you know, it's not going to get enough airflow or work properly. Um, so it really, you know, it's going to be fine tuning it, fine adjustments to uh, to see what I get as the the proper angles and everything for this thing to work optimally. Um, so that's that's where I'm at now. We'll see if I can't film some uh, film putting this together and making the arms and everything else. Alright, so I've got all these slats right here. These I came, well, cutting apart probably an old baby bed. Um, which, yeah, you think, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But the thing is, I couldn't couldn't sell it. And couldn't give it away because there was some kind of recall on it. Um, so I just took the salvageable, usable pieces. And I thought they might be useful for something. So now I have it. So I roughly cut these just to cut them apart, um, and right now I'm actually going to cut it, get me some nice clean edges on it, clean ends anyway. So just put it in a miter, and we'll go ahead and saw 90. And that's a little bit cleaner. Alright, I already figured out this is about the length I want it to be. Don't know exact because I didn't measure it. I just eyeballed it. Um, so I'm cutting all the other pieces to length. Um, I've marked the side that I've cut previously so I want to keep that side. So I'll just put this up in place. Put our saw here as a guide. Holy cow. Get everything pressed up where I need it to be. Go ahead and clamp it down and cut away. Now I've got six pieces all the same. I use these as the arms to actually hold up these, these blades. 